found this in escape yesterday. See if we can get a focus in on the non stick. Look, you're getting it there, aren't you? It's different. May not be able to focus in on it. But look, I'll like, <clears throat> turn it over and see, give a big clue. I might get better clues now. And in the centre, has that hairy bikers world in the centre there. So if you live in the UK, you're getting to know what kind of thing it is I'm holding. Hairy and I happen to walk down the road, I was just walking down the usual road to go to the shop. And there was a skip outside one of the houses, right? That is the only mark on it. That's like residue type mark there, just underneath where the handle joins it, right? That is the only one, and I'd probably get rid of that with a Brillo pad. <laughs> Right. But the point I'm making is, who throws away stuff like this? It was upside down like this. It was upside down. Right. It was. It was like that. Um. How am I going to describe this now? Right. Say, 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 in my surface there is a skip. Right. It was like that in the skip. With the handle sticking up. It's just like it was upside down, so the beautiful in contact with all the crap in the skip, and I was actually drawn to it. I mean, because it's midsummer, and the, because the sun was reflecting off that, that my eye was drawn to the skip, to the item itself. I was just suddenly like, "Hey, what's that?" I suddenly saw it, right, and I immediately picked it up because I knew I could tell by looking at the base there that it was a quality. Frying pan. Well, you know, I am after this one thing for my kitchen. I'm after as well is a new frying pan. They're hard to find, aren't they? Ones with nice non-stick surfaces. They're hard to find. I'll see. I just wanted you to see close up the, the fact that there was no dints or dents on it. Scratches. See there. Now the glisten. See, that is what I found. That it was that side down in the skip against all the rubbish. And it was all bricks and concrete, as if a house was getting gutted. Right. The pan I've been using, right, for the last... The pan I'm using today... I'm still using it today, is this thing, right. This I bought when I had my first flat when I was... When I got my first flat when I was... In 1991. It has a beautiful non-stick surface, and I've really looked after the thing. Like, but it's, it's it's like half it's half the size of that, right? But I've been using it all the time because frying pans are very hard to find. Inexpensive ones, inexpensive ones that is, with a very good non-stick surface, right? And you uh, let's face it, right? If a frying pan hasn't got a very good non-stick surface, right? The rubbish, aren't they? The in you unusable, aren't they? Um, there's some. There is obviously some wear and tear to this non-stick surface, but the majority of this surface is fine. It's still very usable. But because I'm getting the odd imperfection to the non-stick surface, right? Because I'm getting the odd imperfection on it. Of late, I've been thinking, right, I would love to have a new frying pan. I've always done my own cooking, right? I always have since since I left home, right? Since I left my parents' house, I've always done my own cooking. I've always, I've always had to buy things like this all my life. And I found this yesterday, upside down like that, in a skip. Isn't it mad, eh? Isn't it mad? 
the stuff people throw away and what you find in a skip. The combination of those two things. Why would someone put that in a skip? To be disposed of? Just a slight stain. So why? Anyway. Discuss.